happy morning children today let me start the physics class welcome you all i hope all are fine please watch this video from beginning to end students listen carefully in this video we will start the new lesson magnetism and electromagnetism magnetism and electromagnetism before entering this topic we should know about the magnetism what is mean by metal and magnet metal magnet metal means the all the charged particles moving in a random manner it is called metal charged particle moving in a random manner it is called metal but magnet means the charged particles arranged in a particular pattern it is called magnet so the learning objectives are understand the concept of magnetic field the second point is know the know the properties of magnetic field lines third one is calculate the force exerted on a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field fourth one is understand the force between two parallel current carrying conductors the next point know know the concept of electromagnetic induction and apply it in the case of generators the next point appreciate how voltage can be increased or decreased using transformer the last one is understand the applications of electromagnet and apply the knowledge in constructing device using electromagnet so what is mean by magnetic field first of all we should know about the magnetic property the magnetic property in the natural magnet is permanent it never gets destroyed the lodestone were used to make a compass in the olden days artificial magnet are made by us so the magnet available in the shops are basically artificial magnet like this this is the magnet artificial magnet or man made magnet now magnetic field what is mean by magnetic field the lines of force occupy the surrounding surface area of the magnet it is called magnetic field but which we cannot identify the lines of force when the any metal iron metal or any other substance entering in this field it will be attracted or repelled by the magnet so when the iron metal place in a particular distance that means enter to the magnetic field what happens it will be attracted by the magnet so activity one put a magnet on a table and place some paper clips nearby if you push the magnet slowly towards the proper clips there will be a point at which the paper clip jumps across the stick to the magnet what do you understand from this from the above activity we notice that magnets have an invisible field all around them which attracts magnetic magnetic materials in this space we can feel the force of attraction or repulsion due to the magnet thus magnetic field is the region around this is the definition of magnetic field please note it down children the magnetic field is the region around the magnet where its magnetic influence can be felt it is denoted by b and its unit is tesla so this is the magnet magnetic field is the region around the magnets where its magnetic influence can be felt it is denoted by b 
if unit is tesla magnetic field unit is tesla so the direction of magnetic field around the magnet can be found by placing a small compass in the magnetic field so this is a small shape of compass box which is placed nearby the magnet we can identify the direction of the lines of force in a different place the magnetic box small size of magnetic box placed nearby the magnet we can easily understand so now listen children here listen this is the magnetic needle placed nearby the magnet what happens it will denote the direction of the magnetic lines of force so it will move in a different position the needle it will deflect it that means point out the direction of the magnetic field listen children listen carefully so the needle point out the direction of the magnetic lines direction of the magnetic lines so with the help of the compass box this compass box we can easily point out the direction of the or can be found by placing small compass box sir uh, it will be easy to point out the direction of the magnetic lines of course once again repeat when the compass box placed nearby the magnet it will be point out the direction of the magnetic lines of force magnetic lines of force the next two topic is magnetic field lines the north direction north pole and the uh, magnet have two different uh, poles one is the north pole another one is the south pole north pole the lines of force magnetic lines of force acting in a outward direction magnetic north pole the lines of force acting in a outward direction this direction outward direction but the south pole the magnetic lines of force acting in a inward direction inward the magnetic lines of force acting in a inward direction when the north pole north pole placed nearby the repulsion takes place but the north pole and the south pole placed nearby the attraction takes place so the magnetic field lines is defined as the curve drawn in the magnetic field in such a way that the tangent to, to the curve at any point gives the direction of the magnetic field they start at the north pole so the lines of force start at the north pole and ends ends at south pole so the lines of force start at north and ends to the south pole in the figure given in the textbook the arrow mark indicates the direction of magnetic field at points a b and c so here this is the point a and b and c so the lines of force start from north to and ends at the south a b c note carefully that the magnetic field at a point is tangential tangential to the magnetic field lines now the next important term is magnetic flux this is very very important to mark children please note it down magnetic flux is the number of magnetic field lines passing through a given area it is denoted by phi the symbol is called phi and its unit is weber w b and the unit is weber one second repeat magnetic flux is the number of magnetic lines of force passing through the given area that means sir lines of force passing like this in a given area so number of lines of force passing through the given area it is denoted by phi and, and the unit of unit is weber magnetic flux unit is weber so the number of magnetic field lines crossing unit area kept normal to the direction of the field lines is called magnetic flux density another one definition magnetic flux density please note it down children the number of magnetic field lines crossing unit area kept normal to the direction of the field lines is called magnetic flux density it is shown in this figure it is 
also the unit of this magnetic reflex density is vapor per meter square vapor divided by meter square do you know some c truthless log ahead c to tell that is a return to their birth beeps many decade decades decades means 10 years 10 years is nothing more one decade after that they are born to nest and lay eggs so this is a great example then properties of magnetic lines of force this is very very important detail question and two more question also so this is very very basic fundamental concept magnetic lines of force are closed continuous curve and extending through the body of the magnet so the lines of force closed and curve continuous curve extending through the body of the magnet magnetic lines of force start from north pole and end at the south pole this is the second point one second repeat magnetic lines of force start from north to pole and end at the south pole the third point magnetic lines of force never intersect magnetic lines of force never intersect the next point there will be maximum at the pole poles than at the equator this is very very important point they will be maximum at the poles poles mean end of the magnet poles that are equator the last last point is tangent to drawn at any point on the curve line gives the direction of magnetic field the tangent drawn at any points on the curve line gives the direction of magnetic field so this is very very important question properties of magnetic lines of force properties of magnetic lines of force the next topic very very important detail question answer magnetic effect of current magnetic effect of current it was on 21st april 1820 on christian oster a danish physicist was given giving a lecture he was demonstrating electrical circuit in the class he had to often switch on and off the circuit during the lecture accidentally he noticed the needle of the magnetic compass that was on the table it deflected whenever he switched on and the current was flowing through the wire the compass needle moved only slightly so so that the audience the, did not even notice but it was clear to oster that something sufficient was happening he conducted many experiment to find, find out the startling effect the magnetic effect of current so this is the circuit the circuit which is connected to the battery and the resistance the compass box a and b which is placed above the wire below the wire so this is the electrical circuit now this is the electrical circuit this circuit is connected to the battery when the compass box placed nearby the battery when the switch off the circuit the compass box it is it will not deflect right but when we close the circuit what happen the compass box deflected by the electric field this is the magnetic effect of electric field this is great ex experiment to understand the concept of magnetic effect of current so now this is the circuit the compass a placed on above the wire compass b placed on below the wire what happens Oster aligned the wire x y such that they were exactly along the north south direction. He kept one magnetic compass above the wire and A and another under the wire at B. When the circuit was open and no current was flowing through it, the needle of both the compass was pointing to north. 
Once the circuit was closed, that means it's on. The electric current was flowing, flowing. The needle A, needle at A, point out to, point out to east. And the needle at B to the west. As shown in this figure, this is the figure. One is pointed to, towards to the east, another one pointed towards to the west. Now, this shows that the current carrying conductor produces magnetic field around it. So now, the direction of the magnetic field around the current carrying conductor, so this is the current carrying conductor, can be easily understood, understood using the right hand thumb rule. So this is very very important rule children. Please listen carefully. Take your right hand and fold this, these four fingers towards to the palm, towards to the palm. Then thumb is placed in the upward direction. This position is called thumbs up. This position is called thumbs up. This finger, this is the thumb finger. Thumb finger is represent the direction of flow of current. This folding finger is represent the, that means curled finger, it is represent the magnetic field. So, this is the thumbs up position. Here, thumb is represent the flow, uh, that direction of flow of current. The curled finger is point out the direction of the magnetic field. So, this is the great principle of understanding this magnetic effect of current. So, Using the th right hand thumb rule, force the finger with the four fingers of your right hand with thumb up, thumbs up position. If the direction of the current is towards the thumb, direction of current is towards the thumb, then the magnetic lines curl this curl in the same direction. So your other four fingers shown in this figure. This shows that the magnetic field is also always perpendicular to the direction of current. Strength of the magnetic field at a point due to the current carrying wire depends on. This is very very important to mark children. Listen carefully. Strength of magnetic field at a point due to current carrying wire depends on. First point is current in the wire. Then the second one is distance of the point from the wire. Then third one is orientation of the point from that wire. And fourth one is the magnetic nature of the medium. So one second repeat. The current in the wire. Then second point is distance of the point from the wire. Third point is the orientation of the point. Then the fourth point is the magnetic nature of the medium. The magnetic field lines are stronger near the current carrying wire and it diminish as you go away from it maybe so this is the wire current carrying wire when the magnetic box placed nearby the wire means it will experience a more magnetic field maybe it will place away from the magnetic circuit the electrical circuit it will it is experience the very less magnetic field so this is the uh, one demonstration to understand the magnetic field to form nearby the electrical circuit. So this is represented by drawing magnetic lines, magnetic field lines closer together near the wire and far, further away from the wire. So this is the diagram we can easily understand the right hand thumb rule. Right hand thumb rule. Next video, let me discuss about the force on a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field. Thank you very much children.